Good evening, everyone. How are you? Happy Tuesday, second day of the week. Almost Friday, if you think. <laughs> Hi, how are you, everyone? Hi, Mauricio. Hi, Abigail. How are you, Jose? Hi, Juan Carlos. Hi, Emerson. Hi, Mayra. Hi, teacher. Hi, how Miss. is the day? How is the day going? It's almost over, almost over the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, if you remember, last night I asked you all before you before you disconnected, I asked you guys if you wanted to have like a review of every grammar tense that you have seen in the previous level. I know not all of you are coming from the basic, but all of you were in basic at one time in your life, right? So I asked you if you wanted to have like a review um, whenever possible, right? Uh, for previous tenses. So you said yes. Most of you said yes, you would like to have a review of grammar tenses, right? Like the basic grammar. I noticed yesterday. Good evening. Hi, good evening. I noticed yesterday in some of the conversations that some of you were forgetting structures, like basic structures, right? Um, but it's just little details. Sometimes we forget the auxiliary or sometimes we forget the S in the person, little details. So we're going to be refreshing simple present, reviewing simple past, reviewing all the tenses like that one by one every day or at least twice a week so that we can refresh our memory. Okay, I know you know this, but it should be. And if not, we review it and not a problem. We have eight people connected right now. Before we do that, before we do the review, we're going to go to the platform and we're going to check. This is just a reminder <laughs> for me and support, right? Uh, remember that all of you have to be doing each week. You have to be working on the homeworks that are given in the platform. So you access to the platform. And for example, here, um, you will have the questions for the first week for the first this this should have been responded on what was the when did we start on wednesday right so this one is the the homework for last wednesday right and then it's just the multiple options right and we're gonna do it together for example number one it says read the definitions and select the best word number one an intermediary entity. Entity is entidad. An intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to resellers. Sellers. Okay. We're gonna arrange. Right. Then we have an agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. And we have? Distributor. All right, a distributor provides, all right, or supplies good, good. Number three, a person or business that sells good to the public in a small quantities for use. Retailer. 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 Good. Number four, a professional who provides expert advice in a particular area, such as distribution logistics. Consultant. Consultant. Yeah, you're going to be a consultant if you're not an expert. So, yeah. And number five, an individual agency or company that sells a manufacturer's product to, sell, to wholesale and retail companies. Manufacturer. Manufacturer. All right. So you've chosen that, and that would be your homework number one for last Wednesday. It it should be for Monday, but we, we because we started the the week on a Wednesday, so this should be your homework for last Wednesday. Okay. Then for Thursday, we have homework number one point three over there, and we're also gonna solve that one tonight. So it says read the sentence in each number, then complete the second sentence. So that it matches in meaning with the given statement. Okay. And then it says choose the best alternative. Okay. So let's 
check this. Let's check what we have. Okay. Number one, I can't tonight. But I'll definitely come next time. Certain. I certain too. Mm -hmm. I can't tonight, but I'll certainly come next time. Right? Now, let me just check. But I certainly come next time. And this is why I'm going to explain why. Pay attention to this sentence. I can't tonight, but I will definitely come next time. In this time, you don't have the will. So it cannot be I can't, but I I certainly come next time. Tendría que ser I will certainly come next time. So probably this one is the better option, but I am certain to come next time. Probably, we'll check what the platform says. Then we have number two. They will probably email rather than phone, likely. I like it too. Exactly, this is a very similar scenario because here they have an auxiliary, the verb to be in this case, would be acting as the auxiliary, right? Number three, she'll try her best to be there. Sure. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that she'll try her best, right? And then number four, we might have problems with water supply in the future. Ten. There is a chance. Exactly. There is a chance that will have problems with water supply in the future. And number five, he's unlikely to be back by Friday. Doubt. I thought he will. Yeah, I doubt he will be back by Friday. Okay, you hit send, and then you have completed homework number two, which corresponds to last Thursday's class, right? And then, we're gonna check the ones for yesterday, which it's yesterday was class number three. So we should have done up to here. Okay, we should have completed up to here today. And it says, categorize the example according to the channel presented in the chart. Actually, you did this last night. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna show you the answer so you can um uh, show them there. Okay, we did this last night in the manual. So here you have the answer. If you want to just screen, <laughs> if you want to screen or take a picture from there. Okay, number one, direct channel. Funny. Number two, wholesale. Retail. Number three, retail. Retail. Number four retail. is direct. And number five is wholesale. And then you hit send and that's it. Okay, you hit send and you will be completed up until yesterday, last night. Then for today, after tonight's class, you have to complete homework, no, 1.7, right? After tonight, and then tomorrow, it's Wednesday, but it's gonna be like Friday. Tomorrow you complete one homework 1.9, okay? So that was just for you, like a friendly reminder for you to work on the platform, okay? Um, if you want, Every Monday we can go checking the platform. You we have you don't have this, but I do, so I can share it with you. And we can always check how you are advancing. Each of you, we can check how you are advancing. For example, right now, pretty much no one has completed the platform, the first home works. <laughs> we can see that here. <laughs> right. So it's a good moment to talk about the platform. <laughs> so you can start. We can check this list every week so you know where you're standing, right? This was your fat reminder to work on the platform. Mm. All right, so I told you we were gonna go with a review and we're gonna do it playing Kahoot, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen with you and I need everyone to connect with Kahoot, all right? Please pay attention to the instructions. You have to go to www.kahoot.it or you can just screen, scan the QR code. 
when you are in Kahoot IP, enter this pin and enter the name that you want to use to participate in the game. Okay. I sent you the link in the chat in Zoom if you want to use it. Go to kahoot.it, enter the pin, and enter the name that you want to use to participate in the, in the review. This is going to be for the review. I'm going to give a few minutes for everyone to get in. You also have the link in the chat in Zoom. Okay. We have 13 people connected. We need at least at least 10 people in the game. We have four. Five, all right. Oh, where did you go then? Okay. Everybody else? Go to www.kahoot.it. Teacher. Yeah. I arrive in my house if in one moment I connect to the game. Okay. Thank you, Maida. Okay. All right. Let's connect everyone. Everybody else. We have five people connected. Six. We need at least 10 to begin the game. With 10 people, we can start the game. Okay, we have seven. Three more people minimum to connect to the game. Good evening, Wendy. Wendy, you can use the link that I sent here, www.kahoot.it, and it's going to ask you for a pin. Enter the pin that you see here, and enter the name that you want to use for the game. Okay, we have eight people. We need two more people connected minimum. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. I don't. Eh, no puedo entrar esta aplicación. Uh... Eh. You have to go to this link, www.kahoot.it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. or, or you can, or you can scan the. Or you can QR scan the, the QR mm -hmm. code here, and it's going to ask you for a pin, Mauricio. And here is the pin in the screen. And you just select the name that you want to use. Okay, we have nine people. We're gonna give a few minutes for more people to mm. come. Remember, I told you yesterday, we're going to be reviewing basic grammar, okay? So today it's going to be the review for simple present. Mm. Probably tomorrow, simple past, simple future. And uh, you already know perfect tenses, I think, right? So we're gonna be doing that. <laughs> like that. At least twice a week, we're gonna try to do a review on grammar, okay? Okay, we have three more minutes. At 8.20, we're going to start. Again, for the ones that are connecting just right now, that just entered to the class, you can scan the QR code or you can go to this link, www.kahoot.it. Enter this pin and enter your name to participate in the game. We have seven people. We need minimum 10 people to begin the game. We have three more minutes for everyone to connect. You can use the link that is in the chat in Zoom. You can use the, the QR code, you can scan it, 
Okay, we have eight people. We need two more, and we have two more minutes to begin. Okay, we have nine people. We have one more minute. At eight nine, well, eight twenty, we begin. Okay, we have 10 people, we can begin now. All right, bear with me for a moment. You will have one minute to answer each question. I'm going to give you a little bit of instructions. You will see on the top of the page, you will see the question or the instruction. On the bottom, you will see four colors. Each color has one option. Read carefully each option, and when you find the correct one, select the color on your screen, okay? Okay, we're reviewing simple present right now. And you have to select the structure for simple present affirmative with the verb to be. Simple present affirmative verb to be. Select the correct structure. Read the options and when you find the correct one, select the color in your screen. In your screen, your cell phone or in your lap. Take your time. We have 30 more seconds. What is the structure for simple present affirmative with the verb to be? Teacher, uh, there is no way to go back. <laughs> no, once you select one, you selected it. <laughs> ah, no way. Okay, we need three more answers, five seconds. Okay, what happened? We only have seven answers and we have 10 people participating. <laughs> okay, let's check. The correct answer was subject plus one of the forms of the verb to be plus complement. For example, I am in my house. She is happy. We are at the class, right? Whenever you have a doubt, when you don't remember or you have a doubt or you're not sure, Try to create a sentence. You read the structure and try to create a sentence. If it works, that is the correct one. But if it doesn't, maybe choose another one, right? Okay, this one is not possible. Subject plus action verb and verb to be is not possible. Rule number one in simple present, you cannot never, 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 you cannot mix the verb to be with action verbs in simple present, okay? You can combine them in other tenses, like in the progressive, but in simple present, you cannot use the verb to be with action verbs in the same way. Okay, so the correct answer was subject, verb to be, something. I am happy, he is intelligent, we are at the class, right, et cetera. Always try to make a sentence to confirm if you have the right structure. We're gonna go to the foreboard. Okay, we have Cesar number one, Edward number two, and Kenya on the third place. Let's go. Select the structure for simple present affirmative with action verbs. Read carefully, read it slowly, the structures. Read each one. Make sure you have the correct answer. Select it in your screen on your cell phone or on your laptop, you select the color that corresponds to the right answer.
All right. <laughs> At least today we got the 10 answers we were looking for. <laughs> okay. Affirmative action verb. It's very simple. Subject, the verb, and the complement. I work here. They study hard. She, all right, and then the verb. So you know which is the correct one, okay? Verb plus subject plus complement is not possible. The sentence has to begin with a subject or with an auxiliary. And then this one, subject, and um, is R, it is correct for the verb to be, but this one was for action verbs. So the red one was the correct one. Let's see the scoreboard. Ooh, we're getting more points. <laughs> so Edward in the first one, Cesar in second, and Mauricio in the third place. Let's go with number three. Select the structure for simple present affirmative action verbs in third person. Simple present affirmative action verbs, third person. Okay, we're missing two more answers. We have five seconds. Woo! Yes, everybody remembered. <laughs> yes, subject plus verb plus the S in third person is specifically affirmative. I have to add that he works in the office. He participates in the class. My mother cooks my dinner, right? So I only add the S. In third person. Very good. Let's go with question number four right now. We have same people here. So we're going to go to question number four. Select the structure for simple present negative with action verbs. Simple present negative action verbs. Simple present negative action verbs. Okay, what happened here? We have divided answers. <laughs> All right. Simple present negative action verbs. The correct one was subject plus auxiliary do or does not plus the verb plus complement. Again, try to make a sentence. I do not work here. Work every day. <laughs> she does not pay attention, right? If you can make a sentence with the structure, that is the correct one, right? And then four people selected this one. Mm -mm. This is a common mistake in English. And this is why I wanted to do the review. Because I noticed that some people are saying things like, for example, he not work here. He not work is not correct. It has to, it has to be she doesn't work. Or if I say, I not live here, that is not correct. I don't or I do not live here. I cannot make negative sentences without an auxiliary. I need, it's mandatory to use an auxiliary when I speak in negative, okay? So, very good with the review. Let's go with the scoreboard. And these people are fighting for the first place. <laughs> okay, let's go with 
question number five, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Select the structure for simple present. Yes or no question. Simple present. Yes or no question. Simple present, yes or no questions. Yay! <laughs> nice. We remain, remember it. Yes or no questions will always begin with an auxiliary. Right. If they are with the verb to be, they will begin with the verb to be. But if they are with action verbs, they will begin with do or that. Okay. Do you work here? Does she cook for you? Etc. Right. Very good. We got it correct. <laughs> nice. Let's see the scoreboard right now. All right. Now Edward is going in the first place. Kenya is in the fourth place, and we have. Jose Carlos on the third place, Cesar in the second. Let's go with question number six. Select the structure for simple present information question. Select the structure for simple present information question. Okay, let's see. Yeah, well, four people were not there, but almost made it. <laughs> Seven people answered correctly. Yes, the structure is WH, who, why, where, when, what, which, how, how often, how many, right? Then the auxiliary, depending on the subject and the verb. For example, where do you live? Why does she work? What time do we have the class, right? So again, you cannot make questions if you don't have, for information, if you don't have it. This structure in red is specifically for yes or no questions, but we were looking for information questions. You begin with the WH word, depending on what piece of information you're looking for, okay? Let's check our scoreboard now. And we're going with question number seven. Select the correct sentence. Select the correct one. Yeah, what happened here? 
we're going to discuss these answers. We're going to go by how do you call it? Um okay. Let's check the first one. We have three people that selected the green one. Let me explain why the green is not possible. My neighbors is plural. Studies is in third person. So not possible, right? Four people selected the blue one. And I'm going to explain to you why that one is not possible either. My neighbor is third person singular. He or she is only one person, neighbor. A study is for plurals or second person. Third person had to be a studies if it was only one person. So the correct answer was the red one. My neighbors study English. Neighbors is plural. The verb is correct for plurals and the component, right? The correct one, my neighbors study English at night. Let's go with the correct scoreboard. Now Kenya is in second place, nice job. And now we're going with eight. Also select the correct sentence. Read carefully. Select the correct sentence. I just explained this rule <laughs> two minutes ago. <laughs> literally gave you the answer two minutes ago. <laughs> Whoa, we almost got it correct, everyone. <laughs> Again, number one person selected this one. I'm going to say this one more time. You cannot speak in negative without an auxiliary. You need an auxiliary. I cannot go around in life speaking in negative without auxiliary. It cannot be. <laughs> Two people selected, I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> and eight people selected the correct one. My sister, auxiliary for third person, correct? Not eight people in the verb. Subject does not verb, right? My sister does not eat seafood. <laughs> nice. Let's check that scoreboard right now. I'm gonna go with question number nine. Select the correct sentence. Oh my God, what happened? There are missing answers. 10 seconds. Choose your answer. Oh my God, what happened to you? Dear Jesus, what happened? <laughs> we have divided answers again. Okay, select the correct sentence. This sentence was a question, so let's check. It cannot be the real one. Where does your best friend, best friend, it's singular, third person, he or she. Because I have the auxiliary does, I don't need to add an S to the verb. I only add the S if I am speaking in affirmative. In questions, I don't add the S in third person because the auxiliary is making the job. Right. And then number five people selected this one. Oh my God. <laughs> what am I doing wrong here? <laughs> Where do your best friend live? Okay. Again, the auxiliary for third person has to be thus. Okay. So the correct one was the blue one. Where does your best friend live? Two people got it correct. 
this was a difficult one. <laughs> and then Kenya is in the first place. And let's go with the last question for tonight. Select the correct sentence, please. Just a few seconds, just a moment. All right. Do you participate in business meetings? Correct. It cannot be that you because that is for third person and you is the first person. So I have to select. Do you participate in business meetings at work? Nice job. <laughs> All right, let's see the podium. In third place, we have Avi. Very good, Avi. In the second place, we have Edward. And then in the first place, Kenya. Very good job. <laughs> nice. We have Jose on the fourth place and Bernardo on the fifth place. Congratulations. <laughs> Excellent job on that review, people. It was funny. <laughs> yeah, and you got to refresh your memory on simple questions. <laughs> okay, so before we start with the activities, I'm going to take attendance. So please be ready to say present or here as you wish. Okay, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Oh, present. Thank you, Carlos. Just a moment. This is loading again. Okay. And then Dairo Jonathan Fuentes. Eduardo Antonio Magaña. Here. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Cesar Lemo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Present. Thank you, Raúl Antonio Jordán. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, so last night we didn't finish reading the information that we wanted to check on retail, right? We were reading the difference, retail versus wholesale, right? So last night, I think, I don't know, I think it was, I don't know if it was Jose or Mauricio, but was, somebody was reading this part. So tonight we will finish this. And then we're gonna check the differences and you're going to explain on that, right? So we need volunteers to read, okay? We need volunteers to read this one. We need two volunteers for this section. Emerson, help us reading the Me? first paragraph. Abigail, help us reading the last two paragraphs, this one and this one. Okay, after Emerson. 
Emerson, please begin. Okay. Why not retail? Running a retail store is all about interest. Interacting. With the public. Interacting, sorry. Mm -hmm. With the public. If you found a social situation upward or have a hard time, finding uh, the energy to talk to people. This can be major obstacle to, to use success. So, Being face to face. So, so. so I think one of those. So, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Being face to face is also occasions to introduce Critical criticism. criticisms, criticisms of the all of the all sorts from pricing decision. The product craft must shift if you're unable, unable, un, unable, or uncomfortable um, uh -huh. with being in that situation. Then retails may not be the best model for your business. Okay, very good. Let's just check pronunciation, okay? Awkward. 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 Mm -hmm. Sounds like a double O, awkward. And it means oh. weird, raro, um, incommon, awkward, right? Oh. And then, um, this one, success. Success. Uh -huh. Su success. Like that, success. success. Uh -huh. Exit, okay. okay, success. Exit for us, right? Okay. And then pricing. 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 Pricing decision. Mm -hmm. Craftsmanship. How something is created. Craftsmanship. La hechura de todo, right? Craftsmanship. And then okay. unable, it means that you don't have the capacity. Okay. Unable is that you don't have the capacity. Okay. Unable. That's the pronunciation. Okay. Abby, okay. please, the, the last one. In general, in general, retailing is uh, much about making personal connections, as it is about the product, your success, 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 so, double, like K, uh, success, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. will yeah. rest solely, so, so, solely. solely. Uh -huh. solely on your ability to sell your product and continue to do so as you create new ones if willing a building. Custom, if building building building, building uh -huh. a customer brand sounds more like a bad dream than a full feeling mm -hmm. experience. Then retailing may not be right for you. Mm -hmm. You will be the marketer, mm -hmm. sales person, building contact and fulfillment specialist for your business that a loss of hats for one person to wear, wear. Mm -hmm. especially when you're also the product creator. All right, thank you. So the reading exercises, you may think uh, reading again, but let me tell you, reading is going to help you to develop your fluency. It's going to help you learn more vocabulary. It's going to help you with pronunciation. So it, it works for a lot of things. And then reading and comprehension, right? So there are many areas of the English language that are going to be working when you are reading in English, right? So now, who wants to tell me what this section is about? What do you understand from this section? Why not retail? Why it cannot be a, why, in what situations or maybe why is not a good idea? Who wants to explain? 
or just if you just want to tell me what you understand from that section right now maybe the principal problem in this is the interacting with the public and because um or the text talk about um uh, that uh, that is the first or the principal obstacle to um um uh, to uh, pass uh, mm -hmm. this uh, process and get the success uh -huh, the success all right that's one that one point of view that's right Cesar. who else what else do you understand from this section When maybe it's not a good idea to have retail, to choose retail. Cesar mentioned it's about interacting with the public. So if you're not, if you are not the person of that likes to interact with others, maybe it's not for you. That's what Cesar mentioned. What other things do they mention in this section? Who wants to comment? What is another disadvantage? from this, from the retail. I think something important to note, it says your success will rest solely on your ability to sell your product. So if you're not a good salesperson, you're going to have a lot of problems to sell, right? Because you're not going to have the help from anyone else. You have to do it. That's in the retail section, right? What else? Who else wants to comment? Talk about uh, the, the prison. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, if you have a product uh, craftsman shift, mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, you can be... Um, comfortable or uncomfortable with the price and in with this interaction between the the seller and the consumer maybe uh, uh, can uh, have some problem or yeah some... you the thing with this one you can create a product, right? You can make the decision on the price that you're going to put on that product because you created it, you have the craftsmanship. But if you are in retail, <laughs> you have to face, confront criticism, right? So they're gonna talk about your product, if it's good, if it's bad, if they like it, if they don't, and et cetera. If you are not the type of people that can receive feedback, maybe retail is not for you, right? <laughs> So those are the scenarios that they are mentioning in that section. So now we're going to check about the wholesale, the other side, right? We spoke about retail. Now we're going to check about wholesale. Okay. I need one person to read this section, please. All about the wholesale business. We need one volunteer for this section. All about the wholesale business. Jose César, help us with this one. And then Carla, Carla Sofia, you help us with the next section. Why not fulfill the first two paragraphs? Okay. Let, and let's begin, César. Okay, all about the wholesale business model. As a wholesaler, you have the ability to sell large uh, quantities of your product at once and have them sold to consumers by multiple venues. Selling your product wholesale can open up new revenue stream that may be too cumbersome for use one person to handle. That gives you more stability because the major onus for selling your product now falls to the wholesale buyer continue yes yeah wholesaling also comes with the fewer expense at least uh, when compared to the money spent year round 
on in store marketing and normal retail overhead. All right. Okay. Good. So vocabulary, first of all, right? Revenue. Revenue right. streams. Revenue streams, it's similar revenue. It's the money that you earn, like like your profits, right? The revenue is what you win, what you earn. For example, if you created a product for five dollars, this costs five dollars. And then I, I spent $5 to create it, but I'm going to sell it in $10. So I'm going to have $5 of revenue, right? It's like the profit, revenue. Revenue, similar to profit. Similar to profit, que son ganancias, revenue streams, right? And then we have oh, a stream. Revenue streams is like saying revenue channel. Do you know what is a stream? For example, in a river, there is a stream, la corriente. Un stream es una corriente de algo, right? Por ejemplo, un río, the river stream, or the lake stream, right? En un lago. And then we have the other one that's there. Cumberstone, two, uh, cumberstone. This one and that one basically means uncomfortable. Uh, cumbersome means uncomfortable, all right? Cumbersome es lo mismo que incómodo, es lo mismo que uncomfortable, it's cumbersome, okay? And then, wholesale buyer, fewer pronunciation, and this one is fewer, is the comparative for few. Few, it's poquito, Fewer is más poquito, right? Fewer expenses. Expenses is the money that you spend, right? Lo gastos, expenses, okay? And then, okay, that's the poor vocabulary in that. Now, um, who was going to read this one? Why not wholesale? Me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, why not wholesale? If okay. you are... If you're not a creative type, then wholesale can get rather worried. A large portion of your time will be spent managing logistics, getting Managing product, huh? getting product to a certain location, managing the manufacturing process and maintaining inventory. Uh -huh. Uh, you will have to spend time meeting potential clients, including their creditworthiness, to ensure you aren't trans transacting business. Transacting. Tra transacting business with shady characters and no conducting this research can lead to lost funds and lost inventory, neither of which you can afford. All right, thank you. Now, vocabulary in this case. <laughs> rather, get, can get, to get rather. To get rather es más bien volver. Okay, so then the whole field can get rather boring. Puede volverse más bien aburrido, right? And then, Betting. Betting is exactly what it sounds like. Betar. Betar. You have to bet potential clients. Credit worthiness. In Spanish, lo conocemos como solvencia. Solvencia crediticia. Credit worthiness. Solvencia crediticia. Credit worthiness. To ensure is the similar to, to make sure, right? Shady. Suspicious. To make sure that you are not transacting business with suspicious characters. Katie is suspicious. Someone that's probably not a good person, right? <laughs> and then research, investigation. Research is an investigation. Okay. Afford, permitirse. You can afford, neither of which, ninguno de los cuales te puedes permitir, neither of which you can afford. Right? 
And let's see the last two paragraphs in this section. I need one more person to finish this. These two paragraphs. And one more volunteer to read that, those two. You have to finish this one and this one. Me teacher. Okay, good. Okay. In picking of inventory, mm -hmm. you will need to provide a large quantity of your product at one time. For many product producer fulfilling large order within a tight time frame is difficult. If your product line itself to mass production, this might be a no issue, but but is you toy away on every part piece. Mm -hmm. Selling words uh, might deplete you research it quickly. In another in other part of, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, in general who saw is great for people who can mass products a product and get it to market efficiently. It also a more professional environment as you will be interacting with other business people mm -hmm. and not necessarily necessarily the public. Mm -hmm. If you feel you function better with more former work environment or considering yourself business savvy savvy, savvy. Mm -hmm. uh, also might be the business model for you all right so vocabulary let's check in this yeah. one fulfilling it's similar to completing completing large yeah. orders mm -hmm. it's similar to that fulfilling large orders right right Time frame. Right? Time frame. Un espacio de tiempo corto. Un corto espacio de tiempo. Right? Tight time frame. Time frame. Okay. And then toil away. It's the same as to work hard. Trabajar duro. Toil away. Okay. Same thing. Deplete. It's similar to Spanish. Right? Acabarse. Acabarse algo. Okay. Deplete your resources. Acabarse su recurso. Okay. And then, mass is short for massive. You can massive produce or you can mass produce. It's the same. Meaning that you create it in great quantity. Okay. And then, let's see. Ah, business savvy. Savvy means conocedor. Conocedor del negocio. Your business savvy. Right? Okay, that's the vocabulary. So, what can we say about the whole? So, we already spoke about the retail. Why is not a good idea to be retail? For example, if you don't like to sell, if you yourself you don't like to interact with people, maybe retail is not the best option for you. But what about wholesale? What comments can you make about wholesale? I want to believe everyone was reading at the same time and paying attention to the reading. <laughs> so what can you comment about the wholesale? What are they mentioning? What are they saying? Or more important, what do you understand from those things, from that those paragraphs about the wholesale? Please tell me that you understand something. Okay. Imagine that this is a work business meeting. What do you understand about wholesale business model? What do you understand from these paragraphs that we read? Um, maybe uh, about 
hotel is that you are a big producer. You okay. are capable of, of producing a lot of type of products and to sell them in a lot of ways, in many ways. Okay. That's some of one of the points that they mentioned, right? If you want to do business with wholesale wholesalers, you have to have a big quantity of product, right? Or a lot of stock, a lot of stock, right? That you have a lot of product. Okay. And of course, as you mentioned, you have to sell to a lot of different business people. What else can you mention about wholesale business? What else will we understand about wholesale business? When is maybe a, not a good idea? When could it be not a good idea? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, may, maybe when uh, we don't know the business. Mm -hmm. There are many steps that you have to do when you are whole, when you want to sell to a wholesaler. You have to know if they if they are credit worthy, right? Imagine you give credit for large quantities of product, but they are not good customers and they are not going to pay. You're gonna have business problems and monetary problems, right? And then also there is another problem. You have to be able to pro provide large quantities of your products mm -hmm. at one time. Okay. If it's going to take you weeks or months before you can produce another amount, maybe wholesale is not for you, right? So it says in general, wholesale is great for people who can mass produce a product and they can make it to the market efficiently, right? Efficient. If you only have one product every month, probably this is not your best option. <laughs> okay, now that we're clear on those differences, we're going to check the activity that we have for right now, okay? I'm gonna share the student manual with you. Just a moment. And I'm going to show you what you're gonna be working on right now. Just a minute. Let me know when you can see the student's manual, please. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we have here this chart. It's called a decision matrix or decision matrix, as you, as you wish. Matrix or matrix, both are correct. Okay. So in the decision matrix, you have different camps or areas that you have to fill. For example, possible channel. Okay. You have to write the options that you have for possible channel. Then you have to answer will the customers buy if they use this channel? For fits product and brand, does this channel fit the product and the brand? Does it fit the organization? And profit potential, how much potentially we're going to win rewards, right, As mo of money. So here is what you're going to do. You're going to go into the breakout rooms and you're going to de develop this exercise. We have... Just a moment. We have these points in here. So point number one, you are a group of farmers with high-end products who want to expand out the local out of the local market. Okay. That's the first point. In the groups, you're going to go to the breakout rooms, you're going to work in groups, and this is the scenario. You are a group of farmers with high-end products. You have very good products and you want to expand out of the local market. For example, you are a farmer, you already sell in the local markets. You already have your presence there, but you want to expand out of the local. You want to go bigger and bigger selling your farmer products, right? So you have to fill in the possible distribution channels that you could use to make the business grow, but you have to answer all the all the all the stages, right? All the questions that you have, okay? You're going to use this matrix and answer the question for each option, right? 
And you can invent any product that you want to sell from farmers. Farmers, they don't only sell one vegetable or only fruit. Farmers can distribute different products or raw material. Okay. And then choose the channel that have an affirmative answer to every question and think if it will be the best choice for the business. Now, again, you're going to go to the breakout room. I'm going to give you 15 minutes to work on this. And you have to the scenario. You are a group of farmers. You have very good high-end products. You are already selling them in your local market. But now the plan is aggressive. The plan of the company is to expand, to sell out of the local market, to sell maybe regionally or maybe internationally. We don't know, right? So you guys, you have to discuss the possible channels and you have to answer the questions for each option. And finally, you will inform which is the one that you decided, okay? Again, you have to write more than one option, at least three or four, and answer the questions for each option. And at the end, you have to decide which one you're going to use, okay? So you're going to have 15 minutes for this, to develop this exercise. The rooms are open right now, so you can join the rooms. You can go into the rooms right now, please. You can begin working. You're going to have 15 minutes with your groups. If you need more time later, we can give it to you. Don't worry. Let's go into the rooms, please. Let's get in, please. Let's accept the invitation for the breakout rooms. Nelly, Vladimir, your classmates are waiting for you in the breakout rooms. Jonathan, Kenya, Fatima, your classmates are waiting for you in the way in the breakout rooms. Please accept the invitation to the breakout rooms so you can work with them. Jonathan, Kenya, Fatima, Nelly, your classmates are waiting for you in the breakout rooms. Please go in the breakout rooms so they can work with you. Uh, miss, I'm sorry. I'm a little busy. That's why I'm as a listener. Okay, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Kenya, Fatima, Nelly. Let me know if you can go into the breakout rooms or else I will move your classmates if they need help. Oh, Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. I saw you asked for help. Yes, we're trying to share the screen for work. Okay. Uh, it's not letting you share. Give me one moment. I'm gonna check the options. Um, let's see. Try now, please. Uh, try Bernardo. Bernardo was trying. Mm -hmm. okay. I already changed the option to let all participants share. Yes, now you can. Share. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. okay. We'll see you in 15 minutes then. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Hello, hello. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but um, we had a serious problem with the the fixed organization. I don't know what is that. Fits organization. <laughs> si encaja con la organización. Con, lo, con los productos, uh, con la filosofía, with whatever the organization sells, right? For example, um, in the, the scenario is that you are farmers and you produce high value products, right? So imagine that you select a channel, for example, wholesalers. Wholesalers, it means that you have to produce vegetables and whatever it is, produce, fruit, uh, meats, anything that you produce, you have to produce it massively. So wholesaler, probably if you are a company that is about quality products, organic products, maybe wholesaling is not the best idea because when you sell massively, you lose quality, right? For example, so maybe wholesaling doesn't fit your organic um idea, ideology of the company, for example, right? So fits means si se ajusta. Si ese método de selling se va a ajustar a lo que la filosofía de su compañía, por ejemplo, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to answer in that in that one. Y el otro profit, profit potential. Profit potential. ¿Cuál es el potencial de ganancia? Economically mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Si, si ocupamos este, este canal de ventas, ¿qué tanta ganancia nos va a dejar? Right? Okay, How okay. much profit can we get from that? Right? Okay. Thank right. you. I will see you have three more minutes or do you think you need more time? No, is that okay? Okay, I'll see you in three minutes then, guys. Okay.
Okay. We're all back to the main session. Let me ask you, did everyone complete the activity? Did you finish? Or do you need more time? See sí, my group? Yes, teacher. Sure. Okay, you completed the activity. Perfect. Okay. Everybody else? Are we ready to start? All right, then. No answer is an answer. <laughs> so we're going to begin listening with uh, listening to room number one. Okay, room number one, we have Emerson Ulises, Jose Bernardo, and Jose Romero. You can share the screen if you need to, or if you want to. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, the possible channels that we chose are wholesaler, retailer, direct channel, and distributor. And with the first uh, line, if customers will buy it. Okay, first uh, let me, before we do continue, sorry, let me ask you, what products are you trying to sell? Are we talking produce, vegetables? fruits, animal meat, eggs, mm, what type of product we, are you producing? We were talking about uh, everything that has to be with the farming. Okay. Tools. Uh, All right, good. Garden, garden, garden tools. So, um, so farming tools. Yes, that, that right. kind of products. All right. So for wholesalers, uh, we think that yes, they will uh, buy your products because they have the capacity to move a lot of different uh, tools. Okay. With retailer, uh, yes, they don't doesn't they they don't have the same capacity, but something is something mm -hmm. <laughs> and the the direct channel yes of course because ourselves are going to move we will make the market tools to to distribute the the, the tools mm -hmm. and the distributor um maybe not because mm -hmm. um it's difficult to find a specific distributor for that kind of uh, product. Product, yes. Okay. And if the fits product and brand for wholesaler, yes. And retailer, mm, no. Nah. Because they, they are more minutious with the products that they will sell. Okay. Direct channel, of course, because I am the <laughs> the creator mm -hmm. and distributor. Yes, I I think um, if I can find the correct distributor, I they will. That fits um, your as, product. Yes, mm -hmm. because uh, rubro, how do you say rubro? Area, that area of business. Okay, the area of, uh, they. I, I, I'm going to find a distributor that moves product of, this, of that area. Okay, so if you can find it, it has to fit your product in your brand, okay? And Emerson is going to present the Last two. All right. For the final part, we're talking about the potential the profit. Uh, we think the the best option of for the feed is potential as are the wholesalers and the direct channel because they have a high potential for sales product about 
Um, okay, in that question, the last one, profit potential, you were supposed to write a number, like a percentage. For example, profit potential wholesaler, imagine that wholesaler is your best option. So profit potential is probably 80%. Or in re retailer, not so much because it's little sales, right? So probably profit potential, maybe like 50% or 25% depending, right? So the profit potential, you were supposed to use numbers. Yes. So, um, so if you, okay, can, if you uh, can improvise. <laughs> well, um, we think the, the best option have uh, more potentials is a uh, direct channel because you have uh, the, the raw materials and you can buy the product uh, the low price mm -hmm. you have a, a mm -hmm. volume okay for the sales so that would be more but that would be that would leave more profit to your company right yes okay all right very good <laughs> that's it i like that you use the same image and then you just fill it up thank you room number one for sharing Okay, that was the presentation from room number one. That was Emerson, Jose Bernardo, and Jose Romero. Very good job, guys. You were very fluent explaining. You used exactly what we were looking for. So nice job. Thank you. Now we're going to listen to room number two. Room number two, we have Jose Cesar and Mauricio Velasco. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. But... We don't have the presentation, so I okay. just we are going to talk. That's okay. good. All right. Uh, with Mauricio, we think in two uh, possible channels, uh, the direct channels and the wholesalers. Um, I don't know if Mauricio uh want to talk about the direct channels and I'm going to talk about the wholesalers and after that I'm uh, we're going to say you what we what we select okay I'm gonna share the screen so you can comment on the you can see the ones that you're gonna be answering okay okay uh, uh, uh -huh. or or product are grain, bean, right and rice. Okay. Uh, I decided possible channel is direct channel, and um, will will customer buy uh yes yeah, because our products. Is is very high quality. Okay. Uh, and the feed products and brown, yes. Because uh, is because is brown. Oh, reconnaissance brown. Okay. Okay. Defeat organization. Yes. Uh, because we were final customer. Okay. Uh, profit potential. Yes. Because We have a cost is very cheap, cheap, barato. Cheap. Cheap. Mm -hmm. It's very cheap. Okay. Uh, only selection direction, only this. All right, that's your choice. Yes, Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. Uh, first, the direct channels. Uh, if we look, uh, will customer buy? Yes, because we have uh, that uh, direct relationship with the customer, right? Okay. And the fit product and brand. Uh, yes, because 
we have uh, a high quality product and a famous brown. And for that reason, yes. And feed organization, yes, because we have a simple process between the producers and the consumers. And mm -hmm. the profit potential, uh, yes, because, because uh, we have uh, a slow cost and uh -huh. um, affordable price. And for that affordable. reason, have, mm -hmm. yes, and for that reason, we have uh, the profit potential. Profit. Uh, okay. And if we look at the wholesaler, um, will customer buy? Yes, uh, because uh, the consumer uh, reached the or product, right? Mm -hmm. um, the fit product and brown. Uh, yes, because uh, we have a, a good product and the wholesaler will sell. Uh, Under the, your name. Yes, with our name, right? With mm -hmm. or brown. And fit organization, um, no, because uh, the manage managing logistic and that uh, process maybe will be difficult, and for that reason, um, uh, fit not organization and profit potential, yes, because um. Uh, we are uh, selling our product with the wholesaler with uh, fewer, um, uh, more price or uh, I don't know. With a lower price. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. And just that. Okay. But we select direct channel. Direct channel. All right. Very good. Actually, that's the best option if you are if your product is rice beans like grains retail is the best option because they expire fast so it's better to sell even if you sell one pound two pound but you are constantly selling yeah that's better mm -hmm. very okay. good good job okay. with that presentation room number two thank, thank you. you okay so now we're gonna listen to the presentation from room number three here we have eduardo magaña from carlos herrera and i don't know if kenya participated with you guys or it's just to just you two. Honestly, uh, just just you two. Carlos and me. Yes. Okay, Juan Carlos and Eduardo. Let's hear them, please. Okay. okay. Uh, we, we can we can share my screen. Yes, sure, go ahead. Uh, you can see my screen. <laughs> yes, we can see it. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead. Okay, in this case, we Juan Carlos, uh, Juan Carlos and me decided to sell a uh, coffee because I really think it's a really great uh, brand here in the Salvador. It's a very popular around the world, around the 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 world. So for the reason decided to to sell our products, uh, export our products on our products abroad. For example, I would uh, decided to hire a manufacturer representative uh, that sell the pro and offer the product uh, Guatemala, Costa Rica, and something like that. So we can increase a lot in these kinds of of, the, of possible channels. And with customer buys, uh, maybe uh, the product will buy for markets that had a, a, a main store. And also fixed products and brand, yes, because <clears throat> we, we have the our, our products for the reason we get a, a, <clears throat> a really great brand too. And fixed organization, yes, too, because according to the our products, we can sell the products abroad and we can sell the products in different ways that to, to fix in whatever organization that the coffee had relation. And for fat protection, we can sell our products in a bit quantities for the reason we can uh, get more 
income because or more profit. Most profit, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue, Juan Carlos. Okay, uh, yes, and we think it is the, the, the best way to, to sell uh, with product. Um, uh, we, uh, the, the, the possible channel uh, is the channel, but uh, I think uh, don't, don't give us, uh, give us a, a profit potential because uh, it, it's for the, the logistic or, or you will have to do everything uh, right? it, it, yes it, it's very expensive it, uh, we don't have uh, obtain profit potential okay no, no. Mm -hmm. and the 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 old, the old channel the well, possible channel uh, fit uh, with those products and brand and fit organization, but only the channel uh, is, is, is the is one known. that not that doesn't fit. Yeah. It is correct. It's okay. Correct. So you could choose any of the other three, they would work fine for you. Right? Any of the other three? Wholesale no, in this or... case, we decided just to sell the product. And uh, just who sell it and export the product abroad because okay. I think the best way is I really want to get a really great uh, profit. <laughs> one sale, one income. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, big sale, big income. All right. <laughs> Good decision, room number three. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. All right. Now we're going to listen to room number four. And here we have. Carla Sofía, Mayra Peña, and Wendy Marisol. Go ahead, Lee. Eduardo, okay, Juan Carlos, if you can stop sharing, <laughs> please. Yes. Okay, stop sharing. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's listen to the ladies. Okay, teacher. And yes, mate. We uh, talk about the the product a specific um, vegetable and fruits. We only consider two distribution channel and direct channel and retail. And the first, the first channel is direct channel. When we produce a vegetable, we consider it is the a good distribution channel for buy. Because is is um, very common for the producer because the profit is high, and the the first question: Will customer buy in the in the direct channel? Yes, um, because um, the product the pro the producer uh, move the to the final customer. Fit product and brand? Yes, yeah, because the price is cheap. It's a that organization, yes, since we produce the product ourselves. And the profit potential, we think is uh, 70% the profit. Okay. That's Carla, a high profit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Carla or Wendy, can you, you continue? Uh, we choose retail channel. Uh, the customer buy, yes, because the product uh, can, can sell in uh, with a person low, but, mm -hmm. but 
of always sell. Uh, mm -hmm. fit, fit product and brand, yes, because it can be sold at a good profit percentage and we can expand out of the local market. And fits organization, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right. of course. And profit potential, uh, the profit share because the sale price is low, but we can sell uh, many products. Uh, we can have a many uh, profit. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so which one would you prefer between the direct or the retail? Which one is better for you? Oh, I think retail <laughs> because oh, wow. uh, we can expand, expand mm -hmm. and sell more. Um, okay, opposite to the direct, the direct will give you more profit because the income is not sure, as you mentioned but you don't have too much opportunity for expanding, right? Because you would have to do all the logistics to expand and that would make you spend more money, more resources, right? So your better option is the retail side. Even though, even though the profit is shared, it's going to be less, but you have the chance to expand to other markets. So it's going to give you more income, right? More income, more revenue for you. Very good job, ladies. That's a very detailed presentation. Also, also I like the picture. <laughs> very <laughs> specific. <laughs> right. Nice job. Okay. Thank you to everyone who participated in this presentation. I noticed that you guys were very fluent. And um, all of you, I think, were checking your pronunciation. The only problem that was a uh, profit, right? It's not profit, it's profit. Profit is similar to revenue, ganancy, right? Profit. Other than that, everyone did a very good job, excellent presentation, and developing, right? Developing, explaining why you were choosing those. Okay, now before we go, we're going to answer one question in here. And this is going to be like you giving your own opinion, okay? In this case, we have what is the most important value a company could get for distribution services, okay? What is the most important value that a company should get for distribution services, in your opinion? Quality of the product, integrity of the delivery, fast delivery time, low prices on the delivery. What do you think is the most important value in a distribution service for a company? The value is something you can give to the customer, right? In your opinion, what would be the most important value? Jose Romero, please. Actually, in my opinion, the most values maybe is the the quality, even okay. the price. That's my okay. opinion. Okay. Despite the price, the quality is what matters. It's the most important value. I think Kind of similar. I, in my personal opinion, mm, probably product integrity uh, upon delivery, right? You know how sometimes the companies, they sell you very good products, but when they are delivering, the product gets damaged or the product gets lost or anything could happen, right? So in my, in my mind, the best value would be integrity of the product in the delivery, right? But then also, what Jose mentions, quality. If the quality is not good, even if the delivery is perfect, it's not, you're not going to receive a good product, right? So those, I think those two go hand in hand, the quality and the integrity and the delivery. What other value do you think it's important for a company that gives distribution services? In your opinion. Mm -hmm. The other one could be uh, the pack packaging. Packaging, okay. That is yeah. correct. Yes. Packaging is very important. Imagine that you are ordering something like a pair of glasses online and the packaging is on a plastic bag. <laughs> 
if you're not going to receive a good product, <laughs> which, believe me, right? So packaging is a very important value. Good job, Mauricio, also on that one. Okay. What else? What other what other point or value do you think is important for distribution service? The on time, maybe. On time. Yeah. They are to be on time, right? You know, have you ever got have you guys ever bought on Amazon and Amazon Prime? They are so big, so big because they can give you if you pay extra, of course, right? Like if you pay eight dollars extra you have amazon prime and with amazon prime you can receive your products like in two days up to one week right if you receive it in two days i paid the, i paid the money i don't care <laughs> right so yes what well, you're mentioning that's also another value how much time is going to take you to deliver the product very good all right guys we are going to stop here for tonight we will continue practicing tomorrow I'm going to take attendance one more time. Reminder, friendly reminder, work on the platform. You should have homeworks one, two, three, and four um, this week for today. And then I'm going to take attendance. Please be ready to say here or present. Okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Dairo Fuentes Galdame. Eduardo Antonio Magaña. Mm, me. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Thank you. Fátima Gabriela Loza. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González. Present Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. José Bernardo López. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Thank you. Jose Cesar Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Presentation. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. All right. Okay, um, that's going to be it for tonight. Fatima Gabriela, if you can stay for your assessment para asesoría, just a few minutes, okay, if you can. All right, everybody else, you can go to sleep. Have a good night. Recharge your batteries. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good dreams. Bye-bye. Happy dreams. Bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Hi, Fatima. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Doing great. Thank you. Te comento, Fatima. Estos minutitos son para que el alumno nos diga si hay algún tema que quiera reforzar, si hay algo que quizás no se explico bien en la clase o solo para comentar. Eh, fíjese que, bueno, por el momento no. Yo siento que todo bien. Oh, muy bien. <ríe> ok. <ríe> bueno, en todo caso, Fatima, eh, comentarle, ¿verdad? Importante no solo conectarse, sino también participar, ¿ok? Eh, entiendo que quizás ahorita, porque se puso como listener, imagino que está en el trabajo o está con alguna ocupación, pero cuando pueda, trate de participar para que también le sume, ¿ok? Al final del día, eh, el inglés es hablarlo. Lo voy a desarrollar, lo voy a soltar hablando, practicando. Así que cada oportunidad que yo tenga, Voy a participar para poder asegurarme, ¿ok? Así que okay. no se preocupe siempre que usted me diga, mire, mismo no puedo participar ahorita por esto y esto, no hay problema. Pero cuando tenga la chance, aproveche, 
Aprovecha y participa. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Sí. Ok. Eso sería todo. Entonces se puede conectar. Si necesitas asesoría o algo, siempre me puedes escribir ahí en el grupo. En privado. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. Vamos a la orden. Cuídense, Fatima. Feliz noche. La veo Gracias. mañana. Bye. Gracias.